In this second grade geometry standard, students are asked to start classifying shapes according to their attributes, putting them in different categories by name, and making sure that they can identify the important attributes, which is an extension of the first grade standard where they practice doing this. At level one, there's a couple examples on the left. Triangles have three sides, squares and rectangles have four sides. Those are some of the defining attributes of those categories, but not all of them. So first, you just wanna make sure students can identify the most common categories of shapes. So I would ask them to draw a rectangle and list the three most important attributes that help define a rectangle. If you have them do this on their paper, they probably won't have only the defining attributes. They might have several. They might have only two or three. They may not remember all of them. This will be something you can look at when you go over their papers again or when you go through the problem in class. At the second level of the scale, you want to look at several different categories of shapes and make sure that they can identify them, describe them, or draw them. The four specific categories that they need to know are quadrilaterals, triangles, pentagons, and hexagons. So I would ask a question like, draw a pentagon. Describe the attributes that make a pentagon. Again, depending on where your students are at, they might remember what a pentagon is or not. Asking them to draw one will give you a little more information than having them point, color, or circle pictures that are already on their paper. You want to know exactly which categories they already have memorized and which ones they don't. They may think of a lot of different attributes for their pentagon, color, shape, size, but again, they want to start thinking about which ones matter and which ones don't. Have them draw a picture, make a list on their paper, maybe circle the most important ones. This will give you a great idea of whether or not they're ready to move on to level three. Level three in a scale is always your grade level expectation. And notice there are several specific shapes mentioned in the standard language. They have to identify and describe and draw triangles, quadrilaterals, pentagons, cubes, and hexagons. I have an example on my scale for second grade students because this goes on a wall and they can reference it all the time. Triangles have three corners or angles. Quadrilaterals have four sides and four angles. So some of the defining attributes as an example. If you're doing these questions as a pretest or a post-test, you wanna cover that up, not have any clues or hints for your students. Here's an example of a level three problem that I might ask students to see where we're starting this standard. Identify the shapes above. There's one that is a quadrilateral. Hmm. They'd have to think about why the others aren't. Draw another quadrilateral of your own. This is a little harder because they have to understand the variety of shapes that can go into that category and how they would be different. Then describe three attributes of a quadrilateral. And these have to be defining attributes because they would be the same for both the quadrilateral in the picture and the quadrilateral that they drew themselves. If your students are able to do this, you have a pretty good idea that they are all set on this standard as far as quadrilaterals. You might want to do this little preschool pretest a couple different days with a variety of shapes. Maybe make it a small group center activity, a mini lesson, a guided math lesson activity, or Maybe four or five days in a row, start each math lesson with a little pretest. Make sure that they can identify the shape, list the defining attributes, draw another one of their own. If your students are able to do this, and if you can collect those papers and take a look, you'll have a great idea of who has already mastered this standard, what aspects they're still missing, and how you can plan the rest of your unit to get through the most important content quickly. Any of your students who are having a really easy time with this are ready for level four. That means they've mastered the third grade, the second grade standard at level three, and they're ready for a challenge. One challenge could be asking them to explain and define every attribute that's important. 
asking them to come up with different shapes that fit into the same categories. You'll see a couple examples of explanations on the scale poster. I can compare and explain how these shapes are similar and different. Name the shapes below. Describe how they are similar. Describe how they are different. This is an extension of the same problem because you can start to introduce composite shapes, three-dimensional shapes, or you could stretch your students to make sure they can identify every quadrilateral that exists, every type of triangle, equilateral, isosceles, um, irregular triangles. Make sure your students have an advanced knowledge and application of this standard and they would be functioning at level four. I hope you found these examples helpful. You can find these posters and free samples of these posters at my website, Mrs. L's levellearning.com. I have a freebies tab. I also have a tab to my TPT store, so go ahead and check that out if you would like to download free examples or find a complete set. Thanks so much for your time. Have a great school year.